Hey guys, Aaron. Carrying on barreling through more dynamic components this week. This week we're going to talk about some transformations other than size and location, specifically rotation. We're going to see how to take this door right here and rotate it open and close. We're also going to talk about things like nesting levels and where pieces are, that sort of stuff. So I'm not going to introduce anymore. We're just going to go do it. Let's hop in. Okay, so quick walkthrough of what I got here. I didn't make you guys watch me make this because it's pretty simple. I have a component here. I called it door frame. Inside here I have three pieces. If I click into the first one, I have this piece that I called trim, and that's basically just a U shape. I did a follow me around a rectangle. Pretty simple. Even simpler is this door. You can see the preview of just the door here. It's literally uh, a push-pulled rectangle. And then I have some doorknobs. These two doorknobs, two different pieces, are in one component together. So that's what I have right now. So let's take a look at what it would take to make this door rotate if I interact with it. So what I'm going to want to do is take this piece right here and add a rotational value to it, specifically 90 degrees. I'm going to flip it to 90 degrees. Um, the important thing right now is to look at where the axes are for this piece. If I click x-ray right now, I can see into my model, I can see, see the little, it's flashing a little bit, but you can see the axes is at the inside. So if I was to spin this 90 degrees, my door would go into my trim. So I actually want to pull it and have it rotate about this axis, this point right here. So I'm going to take my axis and move it out to here. Um, if I had like hinges drawn on here, I could actually use the center point of the hinge to rotate. But this is going to work for, for what we're doing, just having it rotate on the end. I'm not in the subcomponent of the door right now. So if I was to change the axis, I'd actually be changing the axis of the whole dynamic component. So I'm going to double click so I get inside. If I pick on geometry, then I can see, okay, yeah, I, I am in context right now. And my big axis is right there. So I'm just going to reassign that axis by clicking right here. I'm going to click again to set it. Click outside. Do you want to change that axis? Yes, I do. All right, now that we come out here, you can see this is my axis. That's what it's going to rotate upon. Okay, so now we have to talk about applying a transformation to a piece. So for this door, I'm going to start real simple. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to add a rotation. Now again, watch your little images up here as you come through here to make sure you pick the right rotation. So this rotation I want to rotate around the z-axis, so I'm going to pick rotation z, and right now it's set to zero. So let's, super simple, let's just spin it and see what happens. I'm going to type in 90 and hit enter. Well, yeah, that's exactly what I want to do. So we can hook up a control. We could add this to on click or something like that to make it open and close. We know how to do that. But before I do that, I want to talk about one more thing. Our knob didn't move. So when we change that back to zero, all right, everything looks good. But if I come in here and say 90, uh-oh, it goes out. So how do we account for this? There's a couple ways, and some are simple. Some will make you hit your head on things. One thing I could do is I could come into my knob. I could change the axes of my knob down to the same point as the door, and I could rotate about that also. It'd be very simple to do. The reason I would recommend not doing this is, for one, it's not great practice to have your axes halfway across the board from a point. I know this would be a transition point, but probably not the best thing to do. People would probably argue that with me, but I would probably not like to have my axes down here for this knob. So a different way I could go about this, I'm going to put it back to zero for right now, is I could group together, or component together, these two pieces. So if I grab both of them and I say make component, I'm going to call this door and knobs. I'm going to set my axes right now because I know exactly where I want it. I want it right here and hit create. So when I do that, look what happens. So now in here I have a trim with no information and I have a door and knobs. Inside that door and knobs, I have knobs and door. 
So I have these separate pieces nested in. The component attributes is only going to show you one level deep. So I won't actually see a whole bunch of levels here. Um, I'm only going to be able to control one level deep like this. So if I come here to my door, and I'm going to get rid of my rotation from just the door, and I'm going to add it to my door and knobs. Again, rotate Z, and let's just test it before we put any controls on here. 90, enter. And look what happened. Ooh, the door and the knobs rotated just like I wanted. Awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and put that back to zero. Okay, so now we got to put in a user control. What I'm going to do is, there's a couple ways to do this. We do with the interact like we did with the color of Mark's pants where if I click on it, it could toggle between 90 and zero degrees. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put a user control in here. I'm going to tell it I want a thing called state because it's a nice generic means nothing term, right? And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to say uh, this is a list and I'm going to add two values here. One is closed, and the value for closed is going to be zero degrees. And then I'm going to have an open, which I will set to 90 degrees. Pretty simple, right? So I'm going to go ahead and apply that. And what will happen then is this will show up over here. So right now, state is equal to zero because it's closed. If I come over here, toggle it to open and hit apply, it changes to 90. Nothing happened, though because we're not doing anything with this number. This number isn't actually plugged into anything. So if I come here to door and knobs and I'm going to add that rotation Z, and rather than putting a value in like I have, I'm just gonna say that's equal to whatever my state is set to and hit enter. Now, if I come over to close toggle to open and hit apply, it says set this to 90 degrees. So I can take that a little bit further, and this, is, this makes the argument for not using the interact. Interact is, you know, click one way or the other, click back and forth. What I could do is I could come in here, and I could add another one that says partially, whoa. Let's, let's call it, uh, Partway open. And I'm going to say that is 45. I don't have to change anything else now because I just put another value in here and this value is just going to check here. So if I come over here and I say, oh, I want it partway open, apply, it goes to 45. Hopefully all that made sense. I know we skipped over some of the stuff in the beginning because we we're building again on the last six videos. So if any of that went too fast and you haven't seen the previous six videos, I would recommend going to the Skill Builder playing list, go back to video one and watch all of them up to here because that should be pretty easy. We only really introduced two new concepts there, uh, nesting and rotation. So you should be able to get that. If not, I apologize and let me know if I'm going too fast. If you did like that, please click the like button down below. Let us know if that was a, a good use of your time. And if you haven't already, subscribe. We put a video out a couple times every week and you'll be notified when those videos come out, including the next Dynamic Component video next week. Most importantly, they'll leave us a comment down below. This whole video series is being done because of requests in the comments. And we'd love to hear those. And even more importantly is let us know if you have more tips and tricks. If there's something different you would have done with this door frame, if you would have set a, a flag attribute and clicked off of that instead, let me know about that too. Like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.